Hello everyone and welcome back to Motors and Me. So, for a good while now, I've been seeing this Facebook ad about a Bluetooth OBD scanning tool. It just kept popping up over and over and over. Even when I press don't show me this ad again, it just came back after a month or so. And so, I gave in and got it. They advertise this thing as free, you just have to pay for shipping. Always when I hear that, the shipping is usually so high that it basically covers the item itself too. But this time, the shipping was just, I think, 12 euros from UK. And that is pretty normal, to my place at least. So in this video, I will go through its features and later compare it to a more, well, advanced OBD scanning tool. All right, so this thing came in this small package. Once you open it, you get two plastic pieces. Uh, one is the OBD connector and the other is just a plastic cover with their logo on. Then you just clip the two together and you're good to go. Then you will need to download an app called Zeus or however you pronounce it, it's Z-U-S. Uh, it supports Android and iOS, so you shouldn't have any problems getting it. Once you get the app, go ahead and open it. Uh, I will try to record my phone screen. I don't know, I've never done it before, but I hope everything works. So once you open the app, it'll probably ask you to create an account. Do that, log in, and your screen should look something like this. Then you go to the top right corner and click the icon and pair a new device. Now, I should have probably mentioned this earlier, but you don't want to pair the Bluetooth device directly through your phone's Bluetooth menu. Uh, you want to use the app. At least, that's what it says in the instructions. Now, let's take our OBD scanning tool and connect it to my car's OBD port. That is located right here. Okay, that's in. Then, let's start the engine. Okay, so now that the engine is running, let's continue with the app. And here, let's hit the first one, Health Monitor Mini. Here you can enter the details about your car, brand, year, VIN number, whatever. Let's just skip that. Engine is on, pair now. It's advised to hold the phone as close as possible to the scanning tool, but I suppose this should be fine. Paired successfully. Okay, so now that it's paired, there are a bunch of things you can do. But first, and probably the most important one, is here on safety, you can go and scan the ECU for any fault codes. Now, my car doesn't have any fault codes, at least nothing is appearing on my instrument cluster, and I already performed a scan on my app. But for the sake of this video, let's just do another scan and click rescan. Scanning. This can take a moment or two. Yeah, no issues detected. Yippee! Now, in case if you do get a fault code or two or three or maybe more, you probably have the option of clearing it. Uh, but usually they just come back right after or a while later. Probably the best thing would be just to fix it. And now you know what's causing it. Now, speaking of fixing things, you can go down here to service and it actually shows you the local repair shops. Like this one, the middle one, Kirtle and Auto, which is actually what I use. But that third one, ARD Oltas, it's just a parts store, it's not a repair shop. I don't know why it's here. And then we can move over to dashboard which is, well, a dashboard, uh, shows you the battery voltage, top speed, current speed, engine load, coolant temperature, top revs. Speaking of, let's give some. Yes, has a slight delay. Another pretty good feature is that after you had a drive and turn off the engine, 
It saves the drive on the app, and you can later see on the map where you were going. But unfortunately, it doesn't show, let's say, what revs you had, maximum revs, average, uh, what speed you were going, and stuff like that. You can just see on the map where you were going. But it's still pretty cool. Now, I got this Bluetooth scanning tool with the hopes that I can run the app on my Android head unit. Well, at least the digital speedometer. But when I try to open the app, it just crashes. However, I can have it on my phone and mirror the screen to my Android head unit, but that's really not the same. Probably the most important thing why people are buying this for free is because of the ability to easily read fault codes. I've done multiple scans with this little tool, and they all showed zero fault codes. Now let's see if the same goes for this. All right, engine is running. Got the cable connected. Now let's do a quick scan. Diagnostics. Forward. Yes. Automatic search. Yes, that's my car. Is this vehicle? No, it's not. Quick test. Scanning. And done. Yeah. Now let's see. Oh no! Multiple fault codes. Oh my god! To be honest, I actually thought it was going to be more. The first one, I suppose, is because there's something wrong with the instrument cluster, but I haven't really done any more research on that. Uh, the second one is about my parking sensors, or parking sensor module, and I'm not really sure. It says that my three out of four parking sensors in the back are bad. But the funny thing is that all three of those sensors went bad at the same time. So, yeah, it should be possible, but I'm kind of leaning towards that there's something wrong with the parking sensor module. So, yeah. The reason I thought there's going to be more is because I usually get four issues. Uh, the two you saw here, and then one for the front suspension, and one for traction control. I usually just clear them, but they come back after a year or so. But, oh well, it's nothing serious. I hope. So, as you can see, there's quite a difference from zero issues to two issues. And the reason is that, probably, I'm not sure, but I think that this thing will only show you fault codes if they trigger the check engine light. This thing will show you all fault codes, no matter how small they are. In fact, when I scanned my Ford around four months ago, it even showed that my Ford's puddle lights weren't working. Cool. Now, taking all this in consideration, is it even worth getting this thing? I'd say, absolutely. Why not? I mean, sure, it won't show you all the fault codes, but, I mean, it still has decent features that you can use on a daily basis that this thing doesn't have. And besides, this thing will cost you 500 euros or something around that. This thing will be for free or 12 euros to be precise. Also, you can just leave this thing plugged in the OBD port. It won't do your car any harm. I guess, although it did do some funny things with my car. Now, as I said earlier, you should plug this in before you start your car. Now, let me show you what it does to my car when I plug it in after I started it. So, engine is running. Here's a little tool. Now, let me just plug it in. Let's see what happens. Come on. Oh! Traction control! Huh. Now, tra traction control is still on. If you would turn it off, you just hold it. It will say ESP off. Now, well... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But don't worry, once you turn off the engine, 
and turn it back on. It should be gone. There it is. So this time it was only the traction control, but yesterday when I tried this, not only my traction control light appeared, but my trip meter and my odometer disappeared. But of course they came back after I started car back up. Funny. Now, before we wrap this up, I do want to mention that out there, there are hundreds of these thumb-sized, well, big thumb-sized uh, Bluetooth OBD scanners. But usually you will see them with very bad reviews. I tried one of them out besides this one. And the thing was that I just couldn't get it running on my phone. I was using the Pro, uh, what was it, Torque app? Uh, but it just didn't work. Well, it worked once out of like 10 times. It worked fine on my laptop though, but not on my phone. But that thing was for 20 euros plus shipping. This is for free, plus 12 euro shipping. So out of the two Bluetooth OBD scanning tools that I tested, this was by far the best. And it has its own app, so you know it'll work. So I've been trying to find the one that didn't work and actually found it. It's this, Seabell OBD Advanced. As I said, it works fine on my laptop, but not on my phone. So, yeah. All right, I think it's about time we wrap this up. In the comment section below, let me know what you think about this Zeus, Z-U-S Bluetooth OBD scanning tool. Have you seen the ad? Do you like it or do you have it? And what's your experience with these Bluetooth OBD scanning tools all together? And of course, have you saved thousands of euros in repairs like they claim these do? I haven't. Okay. If you guys liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.